Good morning, everybody. It's actually afternoon right now as I'm recording this, but I'm assuming you'll be watching it in the morning. I hope everybody's doing really well. Um, it's been a while since I've heard from some of you guys. You know I miss you. Um, I've actually been really surprised. I've heard, I've got a couple emails from students saying how much they miss being at school, which is really funny because whenever we're there, we hate it. Um, in fact, I had one student email me and I, I started laughing out loud. Um, they said, I can't wait to go back to school just so I can start whining about how much I hate it again. Um, but it is funny, you know, we realize that now that we're gone, how much we enjoy being around our teachers and, and friends and sports and, and how important school is. Um, but I hope you guys are finding a routine. Today is our, you know, our first day getting back into this online learning world, which is new for everybody. So try and, try and establish a routine, find a time or a space in your house, apartment, wherever you live. Um, to set aside so you know that when you're there, it's time to get some stuff done. You know, the expectation for you guys is about three to four hours a day, uh, maybe even less across all of your classes. So it's not like a full day of school, but it is important that you find a space to, to work. And you guys can't see where I'm at right now, but uh, I don't have a kitchen table right now because I turned it into my office workspace. I just have my desk here. Um, but it really helps me as I know when I'm here at this location, I'm getting, uh, getting ready to get stuff done. Um, so that's important in the next couple of days that we establish a routine. Um, your teachers have been working really hard, including me, to try and get things ready to go. Um, today, we are going to kind of review and the craziness of everything that's been going on. Um, I know it's hard to remember where we were, um, but I just want to make sure you guys know where to find information. And then we're going to jump right back into what we were learning before we left. Okay. Um, so a couple of things quickly. School G is organized by weeks and days. All right, so a week one and then day one or day two within that week. Because remember, we're on a red gold schedule or a gold red schedule. Um, so you won't have Spanish every single day. It'll be every other day. Um, other than that, if you need help, I'm available by email from 8 a.m. till 3 p.m., which is technically my working hours, but I'm available after that. If I see you email me, I'll, I'll probably get back to you, okay? Um, if you need any help, I can help you via Zoom meeting. You and I can, uh, can have a small group meeting, a one-on-one -on -one meeting. Um, I can show you my screen, show you a few things. There's a lot of cool things that we can do as long as your parents or guardians sign the consent form saying we are allowed to do that. Um, so let me know if you feel like you really need some help. Um, I'm still here for you. I can, we can do our best in this situation. Okay. Um, I think that's all I have for housekeeping. So now we're going to jump into our little lesson for today. Okay. Um, so I'm going to start sharing my screen. You should be able to see what is going on right about now. Question. There we go. Wonderful. Here we are. Um, I threw together a little presentation for us. We were talking about the present progressive or el presente progresivo, all right? In English, decimos cosas como sleeping, serving, asking, reading, all right? So this is our ING, lo que estamos haciendo ahora en este momento, all right? So what is it? Uh, the Spanish present progressive is the ING of Spanish, okay? We use this grammar to describe lo que estamos haciendo or what we are doing right now, okay, ahorita. Okay, so how to form the present progressive? There are two things that we need. Um, oh, is this gonna be in the way? Can I move that? Hmm, we'll see. The present progressive is usually formed with two items. The first is a form of the verb a star. This tells us who is doing the action. If we say estoy, that means I am. Estás, you are, está, he or she is, estamos, we are, estáis, which means you guys, si estuviéramos en España, and then están is they or you guys in the rest of the world, okay? The second thing tells us what they are doing. We take our verb and we add our ing ending. The ending is ando for an AR verb or endo for ER or IR verbs, okay? Let's take a look at a couple of examples. Miremos algunos ejemplos aquí. So, first one, I am talking. Yo estoy hablando. It comes from the verb hablar. It's an AR verb. I drop the AR and I add ando. This is my ING. I am, estoy, hablando, talking, all right? She is watching Netflix, ella. El sujeto es opcional, claro. Está, 
analysis in a way again. Está mirando Netflix, another AR verb. It took off my AR, added ando. Next one is an ER verb, comer. And then finally, we're going to use escribir, which is an IR verb. So we are eating. Estamos means we are. Comiendo, eating. And then they are writing. Están escribiendo. Fíjense que el verbo escribir termina con ir y comer termina con er y los dos tienen el mismo la misma terminación all right yendo so that is all that i have for today all right after this video is done i will send you back to schoology you'll see instructions for a little practice activity for you to do you can complete it on cami um, and share it i will create an assignment and i will be able to go through look at them and give you guys feedback all right um, it's wonderful to see you guys. I hope you enjoy this video. Um, I look forward to hearing from you, looking at your Spanish work, reading your emails, checking your comments, okay? So take care, and I will talk to you guys next week. Bye.